what's interesting is it's just going to hold. See that? It's holding itself until I discharge it. Look at that. And the minute I discharge it, bang. Yo, this is Iman. Let's get down to science. Today we're going to be trying to make an electroscope. So a device that's going to be able to let us see electrostatic force and actually see things moving out and we can visualize it. So we can use this device, take it up to something that we know is statically charged and we can actually see that effect. Okay, so to start with, we're going to be getting a container, something that's non-conductive, so glass works well and you can see through it, you can use plastic. We also need a lid, something to put on top, you can put a bit of wood on top with a hole in it, that would work. I just have a piece of plastic lid from, from something else that fits on, if it fits on then that's going to be fine. If it doesn't fit perfectly that's fine, you can just put a bit of tape on it and go around the edge and that will work well. So this could just be a flat piece of plastic, cut it to the shape and have it on and then you can stick it down. So the idea is we're going to use a piece of wire, relatively thick bit of wire just to give it strength. We are going to essentially have this going inside and there are going to be some very very light aluminium or aluminium depending on where you're from, leafs down the bottom that will open up and close. Alright so let's get started. To do this, I'm just going to use the jar, the lid, and another little lid, so from a milk bottle or whatever on, on the top, just to act like a support to give this strength when it's hanging, so it's not very flimsy when it's inside. You'll also need some aluminium or aluminium foil. Well, you can just make a hole through this with a drill. Seeing as everything's plastic, I might just heat up the end of this wire so it melts through the plastic. That should be enough. Okay, make our hole and make our hole through here as well. Bang! And so the idea to make to get those two bits is just so that when it does go through instead of being all wonky See, it's a bit wonky. If it's going to go through both, it's going to be able to sit in there and be pretty rigid when it's in. And then we can tape this down. And the next bit is we want to make it spiral on the end just so it has more surface area. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so that's that bit. Keep that bit straight because we need to bend it through once we're inside. Pop this through. Put a bit of tape on that. That keeps that where it needs to be. Alright, so the last step now is just going to be taking this off, getting it inside, giving a little bend, and then we want to attach our little foil bits. These are going to be our leaves that are going to spread out to tell us that there is an electrostatic force. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of foil, I'm going to fold it up so we can get two bits of foil with a hole in it. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I've already folded it up. We'll make a little hole in the foil like this and then we're going to cut around it. So it's just like a teardrop shape. Let me do that now. Okay, so those are going to be my two little bits there and you can see they are two and they've got a hole in between. So now it's the assembly. Take our little contraption that we've made. Okay and what we're going to do is just bend 
this up a little. So I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to make a little bend in it. So I can hang my little bits of foil on the end of that. Alright, so we've got uh, two bits of foil here. Pop them both on. See, so they can easily hang. We'll just give them a nice press squeeze so they're flat. All right, so now that should be ready to go. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some static built up. And you can experiment with different things. I'm just gonna start with a balloon. We all know that we can rub a balloon and we can get some static. Okay, so see in the corner here, <laughs> rubbing this on my head. Bring it up. And you can see as I bring it in, the foil moves apart. tube and some wool. So I'm going to rub that wool on that glass tube. Nothing. Nothing at all. Probably because it needs to be plastic. Bit of plastic here rubbing on this. What's interesting is it's just going to hold. See that? It's holding itself until I discharge it. Look at that. And the minute I discharge it, bang, drops. Alright, so there it is. Simple electroscope. Then you can see the effects of. Oh, of static electricity. So remember, dream big and make it happen.